Okay, buyers, you wanna make an offer and you are looking at this seller's disclosure. What exactly is this thing? Let's talk about it. Hey everybody, it's your favorite realtor, your educator agent, Rosemary Lewis, with EXP Realty, and today I wanna to talk to buyers about the ever important seller's disclosure, and really, what are you looking at? What is it, what is it all about? But before we get into it, I need you to go ahead and subscribe, subscribe to my channel, why? Because I am committed to continually bringing you information to help you with the real estate, the whole buying, selling process. If you ever um, have content that you want me to share or have a question, go ahead and leave a comment so that I can address it. And yeah, that's why you need to be subscribed so that you always know what's going on with your girl in real estate. Um, also, follow me on social media. Um, you can catch me on Instagram at Rosemary the Realtor and on Facebook, just type in my name, Rosemary Lewis, you'll see it. Okay, so um, the seller's disclosure, let's talk about it. First of all, um, if you are out looking for a property and um, you're ready to make an offer, hopefully your realtor will request, your real estate agent will request a seller's disclosure from the seller's agent, okay? And if for some reason you are at that offer stage and that has not been offered to you, make sure that you ask for it. And here's why. The seller's disclosure is a legal document that sellers are required to fill out. I know in the state of Texas, we're required to fill them out if the property has ever been lived in. Um, so on a new build, you won't get a seller's disclosure, but anything else that has been pre-owned, it should come with a seller's disclosure. And that disclosure is basically the document where the seller is letting you know, or they should be letting you know, any and everything that you need to know in terms of their knowledge of the condition of the home. So if the roof has had to be replaced, if they got new HVAC system, or maybe HVAC, I wanna back that up, that's like the heating and cooling system, don't wanna give you that lingo if you weren't ready for it. Um, so if the heating and cooling system hasn't been replaced, any issues with the air conditioner, any files that have been claimed, it goes on and on and on, the list of things that are covered in that disclosure, even down to, hey, where can I get internet around here? Where do you get it, Mr. Seller? So you wanna make sure that you have that document as the buyer to review so that you are crystal clear as to what you're getting into. Now, here's the other reason that you need um, to review the seller's disclosure. Let's just say I am a seller and um, I, I, I give you the disclosure, you review it, you sign off on it, and you give me an offer. Let's say that um, on the seller's disclosure, I disclose to you that there's no water in the second bathroom, like there's no water coming out. The time to bring that up if it was notated on the seller's disclosure is actually at your offering stage, okay? Now, if you have an option period, and I'm gonna tag that video here somewhere, I've talked about the option fee and what that covers and how you, if you do have an inspection period or an option period, you do have the unrestricted right to cancel. However, if they have disclosed something that is concerning about the property that you wanna have repaired, make that a stipulation in your original offer. So make sure that you have that seller's disclosure, that you and your real estate agent you know, I'm always gonna suggest that you work with a professional and this is one of the reasons why. You have your real estate agent go through that seller's disclosure with you so that if anything on there is concerning, you can bring it up when you are actually offering on the property. So remember, make sure that you get a seller's disclosure, that you see it before you offer on a property and if there's anything on the disclosure that is concerning, that you bring it up at the offer stage. Now, can you bring it up later? Yes, but some sellers will say, hey, I disclosed to you there wasn't any water. You're bad, I'm gonna go with a different offer. 
So I hope this was helpful. Um, like I said before, if you ever have anything that you kind of want me to touch on, leave a comment. I am here for you if you're in the Dallas-Fort Worth area and if you ever um, want someone to walk along with you this process, I, I love it. I love working with, um, with people. I love getting you into new homes and I would love the opportunity to win your business. Y'all have a good one and I'll see you next time.